Okay, so in this video we'll solve a, one of the problems uh, calculating the angular momentum. Okay, so calculate the angular momentum okay, for the system. What's happening is you have a conical pendulum uh, of length L and it makes an angle theta and so it's moving around in some in a circle and we have to calculate the angular momentum about the axis that goes to the center of the circle okay so we're basically going to use our definition of angular momentum which is uh, simply the fact that uh, L is equal to you know in this case it's moving in a circle so it's equal to mv which is momentum times r okay the m is m of course the mass of the object is m the speed v is something that we do not know and r if you look at the radius of the circle r is equal to l times sine of theta so one of the things we need to do in the problem is figure out what v is and once we know v we can plug it into this equation and you know life is good now if you recall from uh, your chapters on you know forces and as well as uh, circular motion okay we could draw a free body diagram for this object where mg is like so t is here and a result of these two is mv square over r okay uh, so now well, I think what I would recommend you do is stop calculate this problem see what we what you get for v verify uh, you know from the rest of the video that that you have gotten the right v and then proceed plug it into the equation and get the answer okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue and uh, the first thing I'll do is uh, I'm going to break t into components and I have two components of t the horizontal being t sine of theta the vertical being t cosine of theta and what I can do now is I can balance out my forces I get t cosine theta equals mg and I get uh, t sine of theta equals m v square over r great now that I have this what I do is I divide the second equation by the first and I end up getting tangent theta is v square over r g and this gives me v equals square root of r g tangent of theta now I need to remember here that r is equal to l sine theta so v is equal to square root of r no 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 it'll be l times g times sine theta times tangent theta okay uh, now that we have this my angular momentum is simply equal to m times square root l g sine theta tangent theta which is v times r which is l sine of theta that's it so we have all the the pieces to the puzzle and uh, you, know, you can simplify this out you can write the tan theta as a so sine over cosine theta and uh, and then uh, you know end up getting an expression that looks like uh, m times uh, square root of l g you know, sine squared theta over cosine theta times l sine theta uh, and that's it you can leave it this way you can simplify it I think the textbook wants you to get it in a certain form to simplify it from here and obtain it and you should be able to show which is namely you know put everything inside the inside the radical sign so when the m goes inside you have an m square then when the l goes inside you have an l square times l which makes it an l cube the g stays in when the sine goes inside you have a sine squared so that it gives you a sine to the 4 theta divided by cosine theta and all this to the power of half so this is your angular momentum okay so it's an example from the text make sure that you know how to do it 